asterisk. exactly who's got fiber optic internet, dial-up internet, no internet, and all the stuff, good or bad, right or wrong, that is kind of tangentially connected to that about what may or may not be going on at home or what kind of parent support they have, uh, how many siblings they live with, never has the amount of kids in a household. So directly impacted a high school flautist's ability to sign into a Google Meet and play in band. So all of that just sort of complete biography about the kids that I see every day. You know, I have a much greater appreciation and understanding of exactly what probably is or isn't happening at home and how that affects the subject that I teach. Um, the thing that I appreciate about all the kids right now is just their ability and want to be here and participate. He is very, very dedicated on his work and his students. He always makes sure that I'm well, makes sure that I'm doing good, you know, personally my well-being and also just being a great person overall and that's what I really like about him is because he actually cares about what he's doing and he's very, very dedicated on each and every student and he's very dedicated on his work, so, yeah. The influence that he has on the children, the kids that are in the band year after year, I feel that he is a a dedicated director to where I want to participate and be around that kind of a program. He never allowed us to be in that moment of not being able to do something. He's always said, listen, you might not be able to do it now, but if you keep practicing, if you keep working at it, eventually you will be able to do it. And you might not know when that transition occurs, but looking back on it for me, I can tell that because he never gave up on us, because he pushed us to be better than we even thought we could be, and that not just in music alone, like in everything, he was always trying to make us better. Mr. Clark has um, modeled a way for my kids um, to feel safe in a place and in a time in our lives right now where that's not always easy. Um, they don't um, ever worry or wonder. Um, he's transparent with them. Um, he pushes them in a challenging type way. And I, I have to admit at times, Mr. Clark, I do hear that sometimes. But to me, that is the struggle that kiddos need. It's that productive struggle that kiddos need that actually shows the most growth in the end. And in the, in the end, it also shows love. And I think that he's not only done that in his way, not just with my girls, but I see that with so many of the kids because in band, it doesn't matter how much money you have or what you look like or what your size or shape or where you come from. It's do you have the passion and, and do you want to learn more? We want to recognize you for being a star. So across DCPS, we have You're a Star Awards, and it's our opportunity to recognize people who go well above and beyond the call of duty to reach out and uh, to be very special to students. And today, I can't think of anyone who meets all, all those criteria any better than Mr. Clark. But here, here we go. Melanie Duckwall, who's also a teacher of ours, She's had kids uh, that have gone through the band pro program. She has a student here at Davis County High School who's also in the band program right now during this COVID period. So I want to read a little bit about what she has to say about Mr. Clark. As band director at Davis County High School, Mr. Clark shines. Mr. Clark has gone above and beyond this fall to create an experience for band members that will be, will be remembered. Even with the challenges set before us in 2020, 
With each setback from our current worldwide pandemic situation, Mr. Clark has found ways to push through and find success. Not only did Mr. Clark choose to continue the fall concert marching schedule, but he also was an instrumental part of giving the members of the DCPS, excuse me, DCHS Band of Pride the best possible experience with other band programs, decided safety concerns were too risky and ceased their normal fall marching season. Band of Pride was able to rehearse, perform, and complete virtually with bands all over the country through a platform called Commonwealth Pageantry Circuit, initially created by Mr. Clark and his staff. Now, I wanna read the last couple of lines here. I am thankful for this leader and coach. Such a wonderful example of flexibility, resiliency, and compassion. I look forward to what the rest of this year brings. Thank you, Mr. Clark, for your leadership and positive example set for our kids. You are a shining star. Now, I know the sentiments expressed uh, by Ms. Duckwall are expressed by many. It's really been important to me throughout this whole time period that our students in extracurricular and co-curricular get to move forward to the best of our abilities to make that happen. Not one case, maybe you'll correct me. No, not one. Not a single case came out of the Band of Pride. And you have how many kids participating? We've had 75. 75 students. And so does that tell us a story about uh, we've been able to continue, but no cases? That tells a lot about what he's done here to manage that, make sure the ball keeps moving forward, and our students get to continue uh, to represent Davis County High School and the Band of Pride. The beat goes on. Davis County High School, Nate Clark, congratulations. You, my friend, are a star. I can't tell you how appreciative I am of the hard work that they have all put forward in this difficult time, but they have provided a light at the end of the tunnel and they continue to provide light. Doing a great job, Mr. Clark. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Clark and his team have kept kids connected, whether it be in person or virtual, and that sense of connectivity helps students grow. And we can't thank teachers like Mr. Clark enough for making that happen and still having opportunities for students. And he's gonna to continue to, to think outside the box so that we can still have events and still have things for our kids. And uh, it's, they deserve all the accolades. Mr. Clark and his team have done a fantastic job. They are busy on top of busy on top of busy. And uh, they work extremely hard. Kudos to, to Mr. Clark for winning the award or being nominated for the award uh, because People like Mr. Clark deserve these awards every day. Our teachers are really working hard to create these, these types of things. And to have Mr. Clark uh, create these opportunities for our band uh, kids is just, it's excellent. And uh, he's already talking about events coming up and creating those events, keeping kids safe, keeping them still connected uh, is very, very important in DCPS. And we, we're just gonna continue that and, and uh, make that happen because it's what's best. So congratulations, Mr. Clark, and to your team. Well-deserved, and uh, we look forward to seeing even more opportunities for kids. I think the, probably the hidden ingredient for anybody anywhere trying to do anything, it's a lot of vague terms with kids right now, is that if you're the adult, you just have to show the kids and show the community and the parent group that what you're doing is important. And it could be marching band, concert band, basketball, swimming, basket weaving, spelling contests, they'll do it. Because absence makes the heart grow fonder. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in 2021, everybody would like to go to a movie, would like to go eat out, would like to be around other people. And if you can find ways to safely do it, you can get a lot of good teaching done.